Virgo, hi. So this is going to be a reading for March 28th through April 3rd. And I'll um, take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Virgo. She said stop, I'll stop. Move. Ace of Wands for the overall energy. Um, really wanting to take action, really wanting to do something about something. In the recent past, the Eight of Pentacles, the Chariot, the Temperance. I love the Chariot and the Temperance there. Um, something was working out, but it almost feels like, oh, even though it felt fast at times with the Temperance card, it kind of feels like it was right. Maybe it felt fast to you. Um, this growth in something there's definitely something growing here and it has a little bit of that sense of ooh, you know kind of like when you're getting ready with that roller coaster to go like ah, you know um but the temperance card kind of shows me again it's actually it was actually falling into place in the way that it was supposed to kind of thing um interesting energies in the current situation the lovers the five of swords the nine of swords there's a connection you're dealing with. There's a little bit of self-sabotage in there. There's some pain. You're feeling over it. I don't know what's up with that five of swords. I don't know if that pain is justified. Maybe you're telling yourself some things that are not necessarily true about it. I don't know. We'll have to clarify it and see it. Um, in the immediate future, the six of wands, the hierophant, the seven of pentacles. There's a sense of success, of victory, of things working out in a particular situation. And it could be a marriage or something that feels like that. What's this in your tail? What is this? What is this? Where did you get this from? Yeah, it was in your tail. Where did you get this from? Garbage. Uh, let's see. Let's clarify. Look, I moved over to the side. You still don't have room. You're very little. You're the littlest of the house for now. You're gonna get past Oscar in a minute right there, but just like you all do. <clears throat> you all get past my boy right here. My little boy, my little boy. Uh, Ace of Wands, let's see. Uh, nine of Cups, Seven of Wands, Two of Cups. This is beautiful. There's definitely the, the energy that you're putting out here with this Ace of Wands is that of bringing up the love in a situation. Either you're going towards someone from that place of love or, again, there could be a marriage you're dealing with and there is love there. It's just kind of like, yeah, it's spring out. It's let's go do stuff. Let's bring it back up, you know, a little bit. Let's pump it up. Um, and it is bringing you emotional stability, happiness, just, just the desire to do this, but there's a little bit of rejection to it here, rejection to your own happiness, rejection to looking at what this emotion is bringing up for you, you know, almost like not recognizing it, even though you are to some extent, but not really allowing yourself to go there uh, fully, to be like, this makes me happy, you know? Uh, let me do that chariot in the recent past. Five of pentacles, ten of pentacles, seven of swords. It may have, uh, this situation might have been coming together. I feel like it happened fast though. Um, and not fast because I see you possibly detaching yourself from a situation and then this comes in 
and I don't see I don't see it happening fast in that respect in terms of you ended something and then the next day you met someone else I don't see it fast in that way I see it as you are coming over something and then this happened to show up eventually I don't see it fast but then when it did show up that's when things started happening fast that's my take on this energy right here and because of that because it was happening and it was coming together so fast you may have had the tendency to pull back to be like whoa this is too much you know um but let's see the temperance The hangman, the four of swords, the ace of swords. Yeah, there was, it felt like, there's those breaks. There's those breaks coming in and kind of like, okay, this is too much. Instead of me going out there and pulling back from this, let me take a break. Let me, let me figure things out. I feel like it almost pushed you into a, into an internal kind of pause, you know, um, like I need more time kind of thing. But I still see you going with it at the same time. So I don't see you pulling away from the situation, but pulling away for you, within you, during this. I don't know. Feels good, though. It doesn't feel like it's... Okay. I don't know. Let me move things a little bit because Juno went to sleep. Uh, let's do the lovers. In the current situation. Ten of Cups, the Temperance card, the Two of Wands. So you're still kind of in that break a little bit. But there does seem to be happiness here within this connection. There does seem to be a sense of happiness. And it feels like it built up to this place. It wasn't just because, oh, we're happy all of a sudden. No. <clears throat> There's been some contribution here. There's been some energies that built up to this place. But there is a little bit of waiting though. There is a little bit of, again, kind of not, not allowing yourself to feel this happiness fully, not opening yourself fully up yet. You're still in that place of where you kind of went within. And now this energy is here and you're feeling it, you're seeing it, but you're not fully there with it because you're still with you. Um, Let's do the Five of Swords. Three of Swords, Six of Cups, the Judgment card. There's some pain that's being brought in here. There's some pain. And there's you working on that pain. Oh, with that Five of Swords, though, I'm not sure. I don't know what that is. Because I can't say, oh, you're not hurting because it's not that. You may be looking in the wrong direction here for this pain to be healed. And I can't tell just yet what the right direction is. I mean, what the better direction is in this one. There is no right or wrong, definitely. But it's like the way you're taking this. Mm, there's something to that freaking Five of Swords. What the hell is it? Man, this sucks. Let's do the Nine of Swords. Maybe that'll reveal. I'm sure things will be revealed as we go in this reading. But for now, it's looking like... Mm, you may still carry some pain from the previous situation that is being brought forward into this one. Could be that. Something that wasn't healed in there. To the nine of swords you get the nine of swords again the queen of wands the two of swords ah there you are entrapping yourself that's what the pain is about so i'm not it could be again it could be that because i see this pain attached to possibly a different situation a different soul connection here um and it's being brought forward for some reason even though you're not necessarily dealing with that directly so that tells me that your pain from there might be transferred onto this situation right here because I see you standing in front of this energy that's right there in front of you. There's a whole lot of attraction. There's a whole lot of 
almost forcing you to just be with it, to just feel your feelings in it. And you're refusing. You're kind of like, well, you know, I still have that pain within me. So let me think about it. Instead of just being here with this energy, let me think about it. Let me filter it through that pain that I'm carrying. And then let me put it out. And the way you put it out is very confusing for you um, in the end. And very painful for you also. Because you're bringing out that pain. Remember the pain. Um, <clears throat> Almost comparing the two situations where it's like because it happened in that way in that situation, it's going to happen in this way in this situation, you know, and that places you into your head, into your confused head. Uh, let's do the six of wands in the immediate future. Page of pentacles, five of wands, four of pentacles. Man, someone really doesn't want to let go of conflict here. There is a sense of conflict. There's a sense of we got to struggle through things, so let me not let that go. But the good news is, with the Page of Pentacles, someone is learning how to do that, to let it go. To just release that freaking conflict, deal with what is, instead of what could be, what was, what might have been. You know, all of those things into play. So that's why the Six of Wands is here, because there is a sense of, I'm learning. I'm learning. But man, someone's stubborn, really not wanting to let go of that conflict let's do the hierophant queen of pentacles king of cups eight of wands there's a whole lot of love in here a whole lot of love a whole lot of stability nurturing and there's a whole lot of energy that's being shared from that space uh and i do see it as like a marriage again i don't know if it is or not but it feels that way to, at this point and there's exchange of love, exchange of nurture, exchange of stability. I love it. Let's do the seven of pentacles. In the um, immediate future. Seven of cups, the world card, the justice card. <clears throat> there's a little bit of like it's it almost comes in as an energy that blasts me in my face with options options all over the map and i don't know if this energy was here or is just showing up like that all of the sudden but it almost feels like someone is keeping their options open and then they're closed and then they're like okay i don't need to do that anymore kind of thing and the minute they stop doing that, things are starting to look more balanced. So I don't know what the hell this is, but that's how it comes through as boom. Here's a thousand options. And then it's like, you know what? Fuck those options. I know I only have one option right now and possibly dealing with what is right now instead of opening myself up to a thousand directions at once, you know? And the minute that kind of perception kind of closes down, then things start to get balanced. Let's see, let's see what the universe has. Oh, not you, you. To close it off. The Four of Swords, the Strength card, the Three of Cups. There's a whole lot of healing that's happening right now. And through this healing, there's a whole lot of love that's wanting to come into place. Again, that whole sense of not sure if love this love is particularly here tied up to you physically but there's definitely that feeling of bringing it to the surface bringing it together more let's go out more let's do this let's do that let's you know work on this situation um i don't know it feels good overall it feels good you're only block in the road your only bump in the road would be that whole sense of well trying to figure out where that pain is from does it belong to this situation or are you bringing it in and throwing it in this situation basically because that's the only bump that i see in here that could go in multiple directions depending on you basically so that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time